Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about Ansible register. So register basically gives us flexibility of storing any tasks result in a variable. And then we can play around with that variable. We can check whether the task has been successful or failed. And there is some other additional metadata is available as well in that variable. So we are going to see how to use register. So what I have done is I have already created an Ansible playbook. I have put the code here. I'm just going to copy it to our YAML file here. So the YAML file is called ansible-register.yml and we are targeting this node. So we are going to install Apache HTTP server on this node. So here you can see basically we have one task which is going to install Apache HTTP server. So let's go ahead and run it. This is going to finish fast because I have already installed Apache HTTP server. So basically it, it has detected that Apache HTTP server is already available and it is saying okay because you know that's the state right now it is in. Now we are going to copy one more task which is changing the configuration and configuration file and changing whatever default port is to 80. This is not the correct path which I have put here. Okay, So the correct path is slash etc and I have changed that to slash tmp. And here you can see we have set ignore error to yes. So what happens if I change ignore errors to no. Okay, So let me change it to no. And then let's run it. So you can see anyways, you know, first task executed successfully. Then we executed second task. Second task has failed, which was expected. And here in the play recap, you can see one task successful. One task is failed. Now we are going to copy our third task. Okay, So you can understand what has happened when we change the ignore errors to no. Now we are going to run it again. And now you can see first task executed, second task did not execute successfully. So that's why third task did not even started. So Ansible playbook has failed. In a scenario where we don't want any task should result in a complete playbook failure, we can change ignore errors to yes. So if we do that and run it again, let me clear the screen let's run it again and now we should be able to see that first task you know we can see here that first task executed successfully second task failed but it just ignored the failure results and then it executed the third task and in the play recap we can see that three tasks has been executed one is ignored basically so that ignore status also it is showing in okay now what if you know we don't want to ign uh, change the ignore errors to yes and we want to probably you know see if the let's say if the return status is successful based on that we want to take some action or if return status has failed based on that we want to take some action so in that case what we do is we create a register and you can you need to define name of this variable okay so register variable we are defining it as install apache for this task which is called install apache http server for second task we are calling it change apache port okay so whatever the result is that is going to be stored in this variable and we can access it using this variable and again for third task we are saying start apache so this is how you basically you register the return of any task now we are going to create one more task which is going to be called show return status and then we are going to use debug and then in the message Let's just understand or let's just see the structure of this. So what we will do is we will just copy paste this variable name here. So whatever value is there in this variable, we should be able to see all of that value. So I'm just running this playbook again and it seems we have got some error. I still have some spacing issues here. Okay, this time it is executing fine. So now you can see what has happened is our first task executed successfully, second task failed, third task also executed successfully and then fourth task which is showing return status here we can see under install apache this is the these are the things which we have okay so we have ansible facts we have changed whether something was changed or not in install apache task so it is set to false because if you see ansible ta An apache server was already installed so it didn't really make any changes so that's why value of change is set to false now the important thing which we have here is rc which is return code so so from this return code you can know whether the task has been successfully executed or failed so we can see now that you know our first task has been successfully executed that's why we see return code of zero now let's do one thing we are also going to print value of change apache port which is our second task and we know this task has been failing so let's see what is the return code we get in this task now here you can see we have two messages 
one is this one and this is the another one second one so here we can see that our return code is 257 which is a non-zero number non-zero number always means task has failed and also in the message we can see what is the failure type so it says destination slash tmp whatever path which we have given it does not exist now you can see that with the help of register variable we are able to know the task which has succeeded or failed and with the help of this what we can do is we can now trigger email alerts or something like that so let's say we have you know this task is of basically sending email alerts I'm not going to send actual email alert in this lesson. I'm going to show you how to send email alerts later on. But for now, just assume this is a task which is sending email alerts. And as part of this email alerts, what we are doing is basically we are asking whether all of these tasks has been successful or not. And we want to basically just send an email report saying that whether all of these three tasks completed successfully or not. So we are saying install Apache status and let me expand this side so whether install apache status is successful or not so we know that install apache.rc is going to give us return code so if we know you know it is going to give us return code of zero then what we can do is we can apply a if else condition so we can say that show success if install apache.rc is equal to zero else show failed same message we can write for other scenarios as well. So let me just copy it. And now go ahead and let's clear it and run this task again. Now in sending email alert, we have got some error. Let's see what is the error. Yeah, sorry, we forgot to put if condition. So we have to write success if install Apache is zero as this. Similarly, we have to put if here as well. And we have to put if here as well. Now we are going to learn this in our templating lesson. For now, we don't need to worry about, just try to understand the concept. Now here you can see our fourth task which is about sending email alerts. The value it has is install Apache status is success. So we know our first task. Just imagine that you are getting this status in the email body. So which is telling us that install Apache status is successful. Changing Apache port status has failed and then starting Apache status has failed as well. Now we know our third task has been successful but in here it is showing it has failed and the reason for that is our copy paste mistake if you can see here her task name i have not changed the variable name so variable is going to be start apache so let's go ahead and paste this variable then we are going to clear the screen now one more thing which we need to remember here is when we are starting a services it doesn't re return the return code it will typically return whether it has been successful or failed so that's why we need to change this from rc to failed and then this is going to be either true or false so we are going to say if failed is true then it means it has failed otherwise it has succeeded so we can just write if not started dot apache failed is true it means it has succeeded else it has failed so let's go ahead and run it again now here you can see we are seeing all the message as expected now what else we can do with this so here you can see you know now what we can do is with the help of register we can start making some sort of conditions so for example change apache port we only want to do this when our installation has been completed successfully so what we can do is we can go ahead and add a when condition so i'm going to write when and we are going to write install apache dot rc is equal to zero it means our installation has completed successful so this task should only run when our installation is completed successfully now in our third task which is starting apache http server we are only going to do it when there is change in the configuration has been done successfully so we are just going to add one more when condition so now let's clear the screen and let's run this playbook so now you can see what happened is our first task executed successfully then it went to change apache port and while changing apache port it saw whether you know software has been successfully installed or not since it was successfully installed it executed second task but second task failed because our syntax was incorrect but on top we had said ignore errors so that's why it just ignored it it moved on to third task and third task which is starting apache http server this one is skipped because our second task was failed and we had put this condition of checking whether apache rc is zero or not now 
if you see this sending email alerts this has failed i think you will be able to understand the reason why it has failed if you see now our task did not execute it successfully so now our this task third task was actually skipped and if the task was skipped obviously we are also not going to get this status start apache dot failed so that's the reason this has been this is giving us error of undefined variable you can see this error of undefined variable talking about it is it doesn't have any attribute failed so i hope this lesson made sense see you again in the next lesson